Hello and welcome to Mrs. Palmer's Picks. I'm Mrs. Palmer and I'm going to read you a story. Today we're going to read The Monster Next Door by David Soman. In a great big field, a boy had a tree house. And one day he had a neighbor. Knock, knock, said the monster. Who's there? Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Okay, why did the chicken cross the road? Burlap. Um, no, not burlap. Uh, do you want to play catch? Ready? Gomp! Whoa! Blurp! Then the monster did a muscle pose. So did the boy. The boy did a silly dance. The monster did too. When the boy made a ridiculous face, the monster made an even ridiculouser one. Then the boy had an idea, and the monster caught on right away. The monster sent over a note. Friends? The boy sent one back. Yes! Everything was great. This called for music. But, hey, stop it, you're playing too loud, yelled the boy. Still, the monster continued to play. Stop playing, you big purple pincushion. What? You're a hot dog in a hat, bongo brain, snorkel snout, flipper feet, turtleneck, blowfish, Snicker snack, slyly tove, ding dong, ring ding, wombat. Just go away. I was here first. Blort. Without thinking, the boy grabbed a water balloon. Splort. The monster grabbed one too. And so it went. When the last balloon was thrown, the boy took his scissors and cut the rope. The bucket landed with an empty thud. The boy was so angry, he could think of only one thing to do. He wrote to the monster, not friends. After all, the monster had played too loud. He hadn't listened. He had thrown water balloons. He had even made the boy cut the rope. The boy saw it clearly. The monster was mean. So the boy marched over with his note. Hello? But there was no answer. He scowled. Now the monster was even making him climb up. But the monster's treehouse did not look at all like the boy had expected. Hmm, putting up the rope together had been fun. And the monster seemed to like music, really, really like it. And the boy did start the water balloon fight after all. Actually, that had been pretty fun too. Things looked different from over here. The boy read the note he had written and put it back in his pocket. He climbed down the tree and followed the trail of broken rope. Maybe, he thought, he could retie it. When he stood up, there was the monster. For a moment, it felt strange. But then, knock, knock, said the boy. I hope you liked this story. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye.